Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Kingdom of God Bible Storybook from Lithos Kids. I got a message a few weeks ago from a viewer named Andrew in Australia. You know we actually have a ton of folks watching from Australia, so hello to all of my Aussie friends out there. But Andrew said, hey Tim, I think you need to check out the Kingdom of God storybook Bible from a company called Lithos Kids. I had never heard of it, but he told me it's his kids' new favorite way to engage with the Bible, that it's beautifully illustrated, that the stories are fantastic, and that he just loves spending time with his kids, with the Bible, through the Kingdom of God Bible storybook. So I looked up Lithos Kids, I found their website. They've got a lot of really cool Bible-related things for kids, but this is kind of the, the, the coolest thing that I saw on their website. There's two volumes, the Old Testament and the New Testament, in these beautiful cloth overboard books. They also sell them together as a box set, which is what I have with me here. Like, he, he, he was right. Andrew was right. Beautifully illustrated, well-written. They also have some cool additional content to help you and the children in your life discuss what you're reading, to pray about it, things like that. I thought it was very, very impressive. I don't have children, but I have tons of nieces and nephews. I have a goddaughter. I have a godson. So I can imagine this being a really fun way to spend time with them, to read together, but to also talk about God's Word in a way that is engaging for them. So I'm going to do an overhead video now and show you everything that the Kingdom of God Storybook Bible has to offer. So you can purchase these individually, or you can purchase them together, and they come in this beautiful green slipcase. You see all of that gold design on there. It says the Kingdom of God Bible Storybook. Really, it'll look great on your shelf. Both of these books will slide in there. The same design on one side as the other. And then for the books, you have the Old Testament is in purple. The, the New Testament is in red. By the way, this is that same cloth over board that you have on the book. So it's kind of a cloth with the gold accents on there. And then you have the same thing, a purple cloth over board and a red cloth over board for the New Testament. So let me just side this to the side real quick and we'll open this up. So really, really lovely kind of purple theme. Very nice. It says the Kingdom of God Old Testament. Here's your copyright page. So the text is by Tyler Van Halteren. I apologize, Tyler, if I said your name incorrectly. Tyler Van Halteren. Illustrations by Alexander Jasinski. Copyright 2022 by Lithos Kids. When they do use quotations of scripture, it's going to be the ESV. Um, published in Canada, so they're a Canadian company. There's your ISBN numbers for the hardcover as well as an ebook edition. Really lovely. And then they have some other um, editions. That's the Lithos logo right there. They have some other, other um, products that you can check out too on their website, which I'll put a link in the description for that. This is a dedication page. You can put your little name on there for your kids' names if you want to say who this belongs to. Psalm 145. Here you get a table of contents. So they don't go by books of the Bible. I'll show you how they do that in a second. But they basically have a chapter-by-chapter -chapter layout of the entire Old Testament. Um, so it's broken up into 30 different chapters. And this book is over 400 pages. Oh, I didn't tell you the size. The size is 7 and 3 quarters inches wide by 8 and 3 quarters inches tall. So it's a really nice size. Um, it feels great in hand. The paper is nice and thick and glossy. Here is an introduction. Key terms for the Old Testament. Covenant offspring, savior, um, a note to parents right here. Now, here's the opening chapter. So you see it says chapter one, a very good kingdom. It gives you the Bible timeline from creation through here. Um, and then down here, it's your references. So this is where it's gonna kind of tell you, you can point to where the this text is gonna be found in the Bible. Genesis one, Psalm eight, Psalm 19. So it's where they're drawing all of this information. Are you ready to see what this actually looks like? Here we go. Look at that, beautiful. So I'll read the first page to you. So this is kind of the opening of the Old Testament. Long before the beginning, God was there. God always was, always is, and always will be. The true king over all things. God was always full of perfect love because God was never alone. For all eternity, God the Father loved his Son, and together their joy abounded in the Holy Spirit. Out of this overflow of unending love, God would create a world and fill it with people to share in His joy. This world would become God's kingdom, where God's people could live and reign with Him forever. Beautifully written, beautifully illustrated. Here we get the, the story of creation. So it kind of gives that beautiful uh, image there. There you can see that this is a sewn binding with those stitches in there. So it's telling the story of creation here in the opening chapter. Adam shows up here. There's Adam naming the animals. Adam and Eve. I'm going to kind of walk you through this first chapter so you can kind of get a look 
and feel for this because there's also something at the end of the chapter that I want to show you. So it's kind of walking you through this entire story of the opening of the Bible, really beautifully done. And then at the end of every single chapter throughout the Kingdom of God Bible Storybook, you get the, the chapter title and then you get this thing here, four, four different key elements, God's presence, God's people, God's place, God's promise. That happens in every chapter. Then you get some reflection questions, which I think is really good to read through it and then talk with the kids that you're reading it to about um, what this says and what it's about. There's a gospel glimpse here throughout all these Old Testament books and then a closing prayer. And then you go to the next chapter. So here we go, the fall of the kingdom. So this is the, it's going to march through the entire story of the Old Testament. Key stories along the way. There you see the ark, I mean, just beautifully, I mean, I, kids these days are, are so, um, such visual learners. By the way, I don't know if you saw this, but there's some gold foil on the pages. That looks nice. Um, it, very beautifully done. It kind of tells the story in a visual way. I think the pictures will draw them in, but then as you're reading to them, it'll give you a good um, way to explain these stories. Again, here we go, end of the chapter. God's presence, God's people, God's place, God's promise, followed by questions, the gospel glimpse and the prayer. So it goes through the entire Old Testament telling all of these stories um, in a beautiful way. At the very, very end, it says to be continued. Hey, there you go. We've got the New Testament coming. It gives the five different covenants here, more books by Lithos Kids, and then it points you to the New Testament, which we have right here. <laughs> and it kind of has the exact same feel with a red theme, very, very nice and bold. Kingdom of God Bible Storybook New Testament Edition. Everything is the same up front. Some different texts and things, but the overall vibe. Table of Contents, much shorter here. Just 15 chapters for the New Testament. Chapter 1, The King is with us. This kind of goes back the way the genealogy in Matthew goes all the way back. Um, and so this is kind of telling us the story. It's actually kind of a mixture of the genealogies of Matthew and Luke when you really think about it. So it goes through and it tells the story. There's Gabriel and Mary. There's the decree from Caesar Augustus, Mary and Joseph, no room in the inn. This is so great. The shepherds and the angels. I love this. So beautifully done. Giving birth in a stable. Here we have the wise men coming. Maybe this is just the shepherds. Yeah, it's just the shepherds. And then same thing, God's presence, God's people, God's place, God's promise, the questions. Now we have the gospel glimpse and then a prayer. It marches us through the entire New Testament in the same way. Great images. I, I've read through several sections of this, and it's it's um, easy to read. You know, some of those kids' books are, are, are tongue twisters, but this is really easy to read. And um, it ends kind of back where it began, in the garden, which I think is a beautiful picture of um, the complete story of the Bible from Genesis. To Revelations. Revelation. Again, beautifully done um, on the outside, on the inside. Great work here by the folks at Lithos Kids. So there you have it, the Kingdom of God Storybook Bible from Lithos Kids. This is really beautiful, really well done, right? I would love to hear your thoughts, so leave me a comment and let me know. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments as well, and I will get back to you with an answer. I will put a link to the Lithos Kids website in the description of this video so you can order either individually these, the set, you can see the other things that they have to offer as well. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. These are obviously very photogenic, so I'm going to post some great photos of them on social media. So come find me out there and say hello. Once again, before we go, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely surf around my channel and find some other great Bible videos, reviews, unboxings, it's just fun Bible-related content here right on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.